Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sagar Bhargav. I'm a cataract blocker and a refractive surgeon. In this video, I will be speaking about a very important aspect in glaucoma management that is glaucoma medication. Now, glaucoma medication is the cornerstone in glaucoma management because majority of the patients are very well controlled with the properly used medications. In spite of giving all the instructions, very often we, we see patients in the OPD, we find that the glaucoma tends to progress and when we inquire to the patients they usually will say that they have been putting the drops regularly they are using the correct technique and everything is fine we are perplexed but when we go a little deeper into this issue we do find that patients then start saying yeah once in once in a while i tend to forget my drops sometimes i'm in a hurry so i apply both the drops in very rapid succession Sometimes uh, I apply the drop, but I'm not sure whether the drop has gone in my eye. So then medication has not been properly applied to the eye, leads to an improper control of intraocular pressure, which in turn leads to deterioration of glaucoma. The intention of this video is to demonstrate the correct technique of drop application and emphasize on certain principles, which all the patients should know when they take the medication so let's first get into the correct method of eye drop application so what we need to do here is uh, ideally this drop application should be done by the patient himself or herself this is just to reduce the dependency on a third person and it's very simple you just have to wash your hands sit down comfortably pull the lower lid down form a pocket and tilt the head upwards keep looking in the upward direction and with your do with the eye drop in your dominant hand just put the drop in the pocket that you have created repeat the same procedure in the other eye you can use the same hand to apply the drop in the other eye also immediately on the application of the drop keep your eyes closed for at least a couple of minutes and do what we call it as punctal occlusion wherein you use your index finger and thumb to put pressure on the inner po point of the eyes just around the nose this will ensure that the drop does not get into the nose and there is no no absorption in the body thereby reducing chances of side effects now certain common issues do happen when you apply the drop one of the commonest issue that happens is that you have applied the drop but you're not sure whether dro the drop has actually landed in the eye or it has gone out in such a scenario, patients feel that you know if if I apply an extra drop, so there is a possibility that there may be a double dosing, and that can have its own side effects. Well, luckily in the eye, an additional drop or additional two drops will not really lead to an overdosing. So if there is a slightest of doubt in your mind that the drop is not gone in the eye, no worries, apply the drop once more. It's not going to cause any harm to your eye but not putting that drop just because you feel that overdose can cause side effects is actually going to cause more harm so the next common issue is how long one should wait between the two eye drops now a lot of times a lot of patients will have multiple drops to be applied for glaucoma and if patient is in hurry he might just apply the second drop immediately after applying the first drop now in doing so what will happen is once you apply the second drop the effect of the first drop gets washed off so you need to have some minimum time between the two drop applications and that time is usually about 15 to 30 minutes so you should wait for at least 15 minutes before you apply the second drop it's a very important point to remember another important consideration is what happens if i miss the drop now first of all patients should try that they should not miss the dose at all in fact the the the, the key to the success of glaucoma management is absolute discipline approach in terms of giving the drops as per the dosage without missing now the attitude of missing the dose and thinking that it's okay it's just once i have missed ultimately leads to cumulative 
effect because that one or twice or thrice in a month would translate into 36 to 40 days or 50 days in a year to about 500 times in 10 years and so on and so forth so that means over a period of time cumulative effect of not using the drops will happen and there will be inadequate control of intraocular pressure leading to progression of glaucoma there are various ways which will help you remember the correct uh, time of application but that's a separate topic altogether the point here which we want to emphasize is that if you miss the dose what should you do so the simple thing is the moment you realize that you have missed the dose just apply the drop to give you an example suppose you have a nighttime dose application say around 9 9 30 and you just forgot forgot about the dose and slept and in the in the late night or early morning you get up around 2 2 30 and suddenly recollect that the, you have not applied the drop just apply the drop at that time or if you don't remember it during the night in the morning you remember it again the moment you remember it apply the drop and importantly the next day's dose which is at nine o'clock in the night will again go as per the normal schedule by doing this you are minimizing the number of hours where the eyes were without the effect of the drop so always remember that whatever it is don't miss the dose if you whenever you remember it immediately apply it and because of the application of this drop the other medications which are going on on the eye has absolutely no change of schedule now another point that comes in a lot of times is you have prescribed a brand A and it has shown a very good response and uh, trochlear pressure is under good control and you have released the patient. Now patient in his winter wisdom or on the advice of his relation, friend or a pharmacist just changes the brand and goes for a cheaper version of the same drop and continues to apply the drop and keeps visiting the doctor and uh, Doctor is not aware that you have changed the brand. Doctor examines you and he finds that the glaucoma is progressing. Now, why does that happen? So there is no harm in using generic medicines at all. Its only thing is it should be brought to the notice of doctor. The doctor has to be satisfied that the generic medicine that you are using is giving an adequate response which will help in controlling the glaucoma progression there are many generic medicines available and they do very well but it has to be brought in the notice of the doctor don't change the brand on your own because that can have its own deleterious effect in fact in the first consideration itself if you can be very frank and tell your doctor that if a particular brand you're not able to afford he himself will give you a cheaper option which which uh, in his practice has been effective for his patients now once in some glaucoma medications patients will develop redness watering and irritation in the starting phase of the medicine now that usually ex is explained by the treating doctor but sometimes because of the uh, heavy OPD or something if it gets missed and uh, you face this issue don't panic because most of these side effects usually wear off or become all right over a period of two to three weeks and uh, usually at the end of three weeks there is a checkup which is scheduled and uh, if the problem persists the doctor himself will change your medication but don't stop the medication or don't change your uh, doctor just because this thing has happened because this is a common side effect give it time another thing which we have to remember is that once you are on a long-term medication you can still develop problems with the medication these problems can happen from uh, starting from the skin of the eyelids so we all know that when we apply the drop part of the drop comes off and gets in touch with the skin now over a period of time these medications can develop allergic reaction to the skin and it, it's called as dermatitis or contact dermatitis and if that happens it can have variable 
presentations from mild dermatitis to a severe form of dermatitis as can be seen in these photos. So important point is to recognize that there is burning sensation in the skin and inform your doctor immediately so that he recognizes this condition and, and suggests you alternatives. Some drops can over a period of time cause itchiness and redness in the eyes. These are called as allergic manifestations to that particular molecule. Now if that happens again you have to inform and again the drop has to be changed. Another point is where do I store these medications? Now majority of medications except one you can be they can be stored in the room temperature preferably below 25 degrees and in India we know that you can have extremes of temperatures also in that scenario if the if the temperature in the room is close to 40 then it's it's uh, it these drops can be stored in door of the refrigerator one medication needs a cold chain maintenance so for that it's important that you, when you are traveling outside and the travel time is more than 10 hours you need to maintain the cold chain by using some form of ice box or ice packs which are commercially available now we have all seen this corona times or pandemic times when there was a strict lockdown now because of these unusual or unexpected situations the drop supplies or medicine supplies can be erratic so i've seen some patients where the medication is not available they just stop their med treatment and this decision can be very very harmful to the glaucoma condition of the patient so request is that in case there is a non availability of a particular drop in glaucoma get in touch with your ophthalmologist he will he or she will suggest you a alternative medication so that your glaucoma treatment is not interrupted in fact what we suggest is that for glaucoma treatment you should always have one additional bottle in your home so that the moment stock is getting over it should be immediately changed to a new bottle without you having to look out in a hurry for the medication and most of these medications cannot go beyond 30 days so even if some medication is remaining you should actually throw them off because you are not sure about the efficacy of the drop so it's important that 30 day rule is maintained so to sum up glaucoma management requires a very disciplined approach and so all the measures should be done as per the discussion that we did in uh, in this video and this will go long way in preventing glaucoma progression and preserving your eyesight for your lifetime and still you have any questions and be happy to answer them in the comment box thank you so much